hello everyone welcome back let's continue with the second part of the video those who haven't watched the first part i would highly recommend doing so the link of the first part you can find in the description below here is our geometry in meshing so as we want to do a grid resolution study so it means we want to vary the number of element or the refinement level of meshing so it means here we have to define our input and output parameter so before that let's go one by one from top to bottom i always use some name so that i can recognize my geometry so surface so this one is our fluid region so let's call it fluid this one is our wall so let's call it a upper wall and let's call this one lower wall you don't need to give them name but it is a good practice material we don't need to define then coordinate system is already there connections so connection we don't need any contact region because we did share topology it means that contact region will or that contact region has automatically established so we don't need to define this contact region separately so that's the benefit of using chart topology so delete this contact region anyway let's define our some name selection so this one is our inlet and this one is our outlet click this one press n and you will get this name dialog box so let's give it a name inlet okay here yeah, select this one press n and you will get this dialog box write its name outlet let's call them so we want to apply over here convection so i'm going to give them name convection wall and whenever you want to do grid resolution study so always use name selection because in this way you will avoid a lot of errors ah uh, here one thing i just noticed convection wall and you can see here we have some extra edges which are not being selected you could merge these uh, edges in uh, space claim so it is really easy i didn't do that so it doesn't matter we can add these edges are convection wall to do so click over here now when you will see this one so hold control then come on this edge select this edge and select this edge remember you have to hold control key then come over here and click so now you have 10 edges so now i need to define another name selection this one uh, i'm calling them inflation because i want to use this wall to add inflation layers so because this one is the fluid region so i want to add some inflation layers so now let's go to meshing in meshing element size i already know that uh, we need 1 mm so we are starting from 1 mm okay before that let's add insert inflation so in inflation you need to select geometry so select this geometry and here because we want to add inflation on this geometry and on which wall we want to add for that one go over here name selection and select inflation so now you can see these are added actually we can also use over here geometry uh, for example for that what you can do you can add name selection for this one fluid so now your fluid has been added and instead of geometry selection go to name selection fluid name selection inflation 
because now if you make changes anything so it will always recognize this fluid anyway want to add one two three four five inflation so smooth transition i'm not changing anything else and for meshing i'm starting with one millimeter so actually we want to change the element size so we want to control with this element size for that so we want to use as a parameter so to make it parameter you see this uh, small square box just click over here now you can see this p has appeared over here so it means now this element has become parameter if you go to the workbench now you can see this parameter set has appeared over here and double click on this one and you can see this mesh element size is given as one millimeter it means now we can change this element size from outside so it is really easy to make anything parameter so if you click again so your parameter has disappeared so just click on this one you see this small p it means now you can use this one as a parameter and you can give whatever value outside this meshing interface and if we go to the statistics so here we can choose what we want to show as an output so we want to show element as output so select this one so it means now so this element is our output parameter so how do we know which one is our input which one is our output so that thing which we can set by ourselves that would be input and that thing and the parameter that we cannot set by ourselves those would be our output so it means so here element we cannot set element so it means that would be our output but this element size we can change so it means it will be our input parameter we can make a lot more input parameter but uh, we are not going into those details so for example you can make growth rate you can make the feature size or even you can use inflation layer you can also make it as your input parameter so we just want to go with the global element size because i just want to show the workflow of uh, this grid resolution study for parametric analysis so all our element have been set so create generate and uh, our meshing has been generated so one thing uh, it is uh, not good to have only one element in solid because it means it will just linearly interpolate from this node to this node so the temperature gradient what we will see over here that won't be a real temperature gradient but i'm not uh, we are not interested at this stage uh, in the actual solution but we want to see how we can set our simulation case so if you go to the workbench now you can see mesh element size this one is your input parameter and mesh element has also appeared so here you can see this uh, lightning sign so it means at the moment we don't have anything in here so once uh, we will update our mesh so save this one ah okay i didn't save this one but anyway so let's close this one and uh, update it has updated so if you go over here now you can see for one millimeter global element size we are having this much number of elements i will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the next part of the video